We free the stars pass on a complex of emotions I can hardly articulate. Individuals live and die, betray and save one another, close themselves off and open themselves up. It is not so much what occurs, as it is the manner by which each character responds to it, and why. At the point when we hunt the flame finished, we were left with numerous questions, heaps of pain, and the little seedlings of hope. The story Hafsa weaves in this continuation addresses to every last bit of it, and she does it well. Everybody needs to know who will live and will finish up dead, which character gets happy closure, which does not. It is not for me to say how it ends up. However I can say every single character gets what they deserve. Every choice Hafsa made in telling this story is entirely in accordance with the character's personalities and story arc. On the off chance that you had any, legitimate, complaints or worries about We Hunt the Flame, know that this book has none of those imperfections. We Hunt the Flame was Hafsa's debut novel, and the writing reflected space for development, as every debuts do. However, the development in Hafsa's writing is quickly evident in We Free the Stars. You can very easily tell she is chipping away at her speciality and continually driving herself to write the best novel, rather than choosing adequate to get something written. The written, pacing, and mechanics are all around created in this continuation. Also, her utilization of imagery is so on point, I need her to win grants for that. What truly brought me into this book was not the writing style. While stunning, it's Hafsa's commitment to these characters and giving them a story that is consistent with themselves that made me love this book. It is the way she showcases their connections, and that they are so important to one another, and the lengths they will go to demonstrate it. The feelings they feel are so genuine and raw. It is not difficult to fail to remember it is fiction. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. However I can't imagine any fan of We Hunt the Flame reading We Free the Stars and being disappointed. We Free the Stars is just that good.